always still confused about the difference between present simple and present progressive. That's why I'm here today. I'm Marion, by the way. Okay, so here are the types of the videos. We're gonna take the form of the two sentences, the uses, and we're not gonna forget about the meaning. Then we're gonna learn the difference between the two tenses. First, what is the meaning of present simple tense? The present simple tense says that something was true in the past and it's true in the present and will be true in the future. It expresses the general statements of facts and timeless truths. For example, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. The present simple tense is used to express the habitual or everyday activities. For example, I always go to the park at the weekends. We have two methods to measure the habitual or everyday activities. First, adverbs of frequency. Always, usually, generally or normally, often or frequently, sometimes, Occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, or rarely, never. Okay, the second method, once plus the time. Okay, <laughs> I wash my hair twice a week. So let's take the form of the tense. Stative sentence or infinitive sentence. Subject plus verb plus the complement. Be careful with he, she or it. We take the verb with s, es, double s. But r e s if it's y. And before that y is a consonant not a vowel. Okay, the negative sentence, subject plus do or does plus not plus verb in infinitive form plus complement. Question, we have two types of question. question, yes or no question and WH question. The yes or no question we ask with do or does plus subject plus verb and infinitive form, plus the question mark. With WH question, we ask with question word, sub, the do or does, plus subject, plus verb and infinitive form, plus the question mark. The uses of the tense. We use present simple with habits, daily routine, Facts, scientific truth. For example, I always go to the park at the weekend. This is a habit. Daily routine. I always shower at the morning. This is a daily routine. Facts, the world is round. Scientifically true. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so what is the meaning of present progressive? The present progressive express the activity is in a progress at the moment of speaking. It's a temporary activity that began in the past, is continuing in the present, and it will probably end at some point in the future. For example, John is sleeping right now. Of course John is not going to sleep for his whole life. Just a few hours in a day. Often the activity is of a general nature. Something generally in progress. This week, this month, this year. Susan is writing a book. Not one. This sentence means that writing a book is a general nature. 
Susan is in Jejelen at the present, but it does not mean that she's sitting at her desk with pen in hand. End penitive sentence. Subject plus am um, is all plus the plus ing plus the rest of the sentence. I am he she at as they we you all. Okay, the negative sentence. So we add subject plus am is all plus not plus verb and ing plus the rest of the sentence. In question, we have two types of question. Yes or no question? WH question. Yes or no question we ask with all am s plus the subject plus the verb and ing plus the rest of the sentence and the question mark. With WH question, we add the question word, then am um, is all plus subject plus verb and ing plus the rest of the sentence and the question mark. Okay, so the uses of the present progressive. Okay, so the present progressive is used for things that is happening right now or around now. As we said, John is sleeping right now. We talk about bad habits. You're always throwing your clothes on the floor. I'm talking. We use the present progressive to talk about future plans. For example, I'm visiting my grandmother the next week. So what is the difference between present simple and present progressive? So, we use present simple with repeated actions, which happens all the time when this happens. But with present progressive, we use it with permanent times. Some things that are not going to stay forever, but with not description. When we describe something, it's always going to be like that. This was the video for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.